woman. I'm no Maya Angelou, so my words haven't been strung together with the same magical pen, but I'm a woman. I'm Maya's phenomenal woman. I've got rhythms in my bones and a pep in my step. I've got sermons to spout about my womanness. So hear me well as I pen from this pulpit the scriptures of my soul. Let me start at the very beginning with Eve. Eve, Eve, Eve. I'm no theologian, but I'm a woman who has felt pain because of Eve. So on this subject, I'm more than qualified to speak. How could you have listened to those beguiling lips spewing satanic lies of a better future than the perfection you had? Sounds familiar? Can perfection be rendered more perfect? Eve, oh Eve, it's the Eve in me that has rendered me a gullible woman. I'm not on a journey to dissect biblical truths and tragedies, but Leah knew Jacob belonged to Rachel, yet she slept with him. Well, they got married. And then she taunted poor Rachel for the rest of her life. Sounds familiar? It's a story laden with lust, lies, love, and trickery. A biblical soap opera, if there were ever one. Leah, Leah, Leah. Why couldn't you leave it be? Rightly so, he belonged to both of you. But to taunt Rachel was so unbecoming of a woman, wasn't it? It wasn't her fault that the mechanics of her body didn't respond readily to her efforts and desires to bear children. Shame on you, Leah. Shame on every woman who invests time and energy into making another woman feel less than because the woman has a biological circumstance that is not responding. Rachel, 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 Rachel. Why do you fuel the fire, then play the victim when the scorching heat of the flaming tongue singe the very core of your soul? Leah, oh Leah. It's the Leah in me that has me fighting for what's already mine, while the Rachel in me refuses to accept that my God-given majestic beauty is enough, that I am enough. I knew I said this would not be a biblical chronological expose, but Vashti's demise is begging to be penned. Don't get me wrong, like most women, I love Esther. In fact, she's my queen. But Vashti's decision to not parade naked before her man and his cronies was a bomb. Hail to the queen who stood her ground and affirmed for every woman that women have a choice. Go Vashti. The Vashti story, though brief and seemingly incomplete, is a testament of the inner strength of a woman. Vashti, oh Vashti. It's the Vashti in me that reminds me I'm allowed to have, express, and implement my independent thoughts despite consequences. Esther, oh Esther. You know... It's Esther's faith, confidence, strategic maneuvering, and negotiating competences that have morphed me into an exceptional woman. Hail to the queen who didn't perish. I am a woman. I am worthy of being celebrated. I am opinionated and strong-willed. I am maidenly but matillion if I need to be. I'm agile and amiable when it suits me. I'm not about to allow the woman in me to be coward into being a woman I am not. I'm Maya's kind of woman, aware of my beauty and in touch with my soul. I'm a Proverbs 31 kind of woman, 
an honorable, kind, hard-working, virtuous woman with a sense of style. I'm a modern-day woman, independent and fearlessly driven by faith, confidence, and my passion to be. I am every woman, and every woman is me. <laughs>